Hello guys, it's Paula. I'm back today to continue with the Fall Leaves album. And if you didn't get to see the last album, this is, I mean the last video, this is how our album cover turned out. Um, didn't have any major plans for it, just kind of laid down a bunch of stuff and then decided to do a video. So, the inside of the book is like this. And the back side of the book. It's a beautiful fall print. Um, so, I thought you could help me get the pages in order for this book. Now, I have a lot of the fall embellishments already made. As you can see to the right, there's a puppy that's asleep. And before the video is over, I'll try to remember to show her to you. But she's so stretched out, she looks a mile long. But she only weighs two and a half pounds. So we're going to get the papers in order and um, just craft together, you know, and have a good time. Okay, so let's get started. I may have to move her. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So I thought we'd start with, I've already got them cut, and I'll tell you why. It's because it took forever with this puppy over here next to me. So, um, hopefully we can get, I'm going to kind of sort them according to um, how we need them. Okay, so these are the solid pages. Put that coffee stain paper somewhere else. Um, these are the solid pages, and they're all very fall-like colors. Um... So, I thought we would, first we need to find the center pages, which are in here in this big stack also. Um, as soon as I can grab them up. Okay, I think this is them. Now, some of them I'm going to have to cover with little pockets, which I have made already so this is the center of the first autumn album uh, signature now I used pumpkins along with the leaves because they do tie in together this is a fall book not a Thanksgiving book but you could do whatever you wanted with it okay all right so I'm going to put this inside there just because I don't want to lose it. But those little pockets will go right here and right here. Okay, so this is signature one we're going to start. Ah, I might ought to leave those right there. I'll lose them if I don't. Okay, so we have orange in this page. So I think we need to go to like a brown or let's go to this, this mix, this plaid mix. Well, first of all... I need to think for a second because we need to have, we need to decide what is going to be the first page. I already know the center pages, but the first page in each signature. So I'm thinking I really like this plaid. So we'll make it be the first page in signature one. Now, let's find, this is the center page in signature two and it's got a lot of browns so let's decide what is going to be i think i'm going to do the red leaves these have little bitty tiny leaves on them and that's going to be signature two now on the third one i loved this pumpkin image and the only place i could really use it was in the center and so um, it's going to be the third center of the signatures. Now, it's in the browns and oranges, so let's see. What do we want to be the front? I really like that this looks like a pumpkin. So let's use it. Okay. 
and this is going to be the third signature. So we have our three signatures started, okay? And it's a gloomy day today here in Tulsa, and I feel like the room is dark, but it's daytime and every light I normally have on is on. But I hope you can see okay. Okay, then, um, so then we move on. And what we're gonna do is get all these papers in first. And then we'll start adding the coffee stain and so forth. Okay, so this is signature one. So we've got plaid and pumpkins. So I say we go with maybe the green or maybe a red. Let's go with this red polka dot which I think is adorable. It's a definite fall color. Okay, so we got the red polka dot in signature one, and then we're gonna move over to signature two, and I am thinking something on in the orange family or the brown family. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's do the plaid. Well, it's actually called something else. It's a, um, oh gosh, I know what they're called and I'm blank. Um, it'll come to me maybe before the video's over. <laughs> and here's signature three, which we have, again, the pumpkins. And we have orange, so we definitely want to put something that's a contrast. Let's do the green leaves. Okay, now back to do this again let's put the we're getting all the cardstock in basically is what we're doing and we have three more to choose from so we're going to have four cardstocks in all three signatures this is going to be a three signature book with a two and a fourth inch spine okay so i'm thinking uh maybe 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 Let's do brown. I think I'm going to do the brown in the second slot, though, because it kind of breaks up the other browns. Okay, so that signature one has all four card stocks. Now, we have orange in here, and I think we need to use... This is more red than orange, but this is definitely orange. So I think we need to use this little white with kind of a leaf red. And you know, as I go along, sometimes I change things up, but um, we'll just see. Okay, signature three has orange, green, and then it has the center. So we're gonna have some brightness going on. So we'll just put it right here, brown and orange, right before the center one. Okay, so we've got signature one, two, and three. All right, so now let's look at doing our, putting our pockets. I've got, as it turns out, I've got four, no, three pockets to put in each one. Now we know we don't want to put this pocket in the center signature because it has, the center signature has these leads. So I think we're gonna put this in the first, this in the center, and this one in the third. So let's do it like this. Now, let me lay these down. Move our signatures over and we'll do it one at a time. Okay, and as you can see, there's going to be, there's going to be paper over this these words. I hate it when they do that. I wish they'd just not put words on the back and do like everyone else. So I'm gonna cover those. Exactly how much right now, I don't know. But then I'm gonna put this little fall check right here for additional pockets. Isn't that cute? I thought so. I thought it was cute. So we're gonna put it right back in here so we don't lose it. 
and and then these will get stitched up. Okay, so this is going to go in number one signature. Now let's decide where. We've got four pages. Um, brown, red, and then we have our center. So we know we don't want it in the center. So I think we should put it after the second. We'll put them all after the second signature that we have so far. Okay, that's signature one. Now, this is gonna be signature two, and I'll show you how it's going to look. It's gonna have these cute polka dots because I mimicked, mimicked, <laughs> mimicked the uh, red spot in the leaf flowers. I don't know if you realize this or not, but these are not flat. They're not your normal flowers. They're shaped like leaves on the each side with a dot. And then I decided to do some brown pockets on here. So I thought that looked cute. Trying to mix all the colors up. So that's going to go in signature two, and it will be the third page. I guess somebody decided to get up and move. All right, now, this is signature three. It also has a, a, a smaller brown leaf shape. And so I thought we'd brighten it up a little bit with some orange and brown. I'm gonna have to trim that a little bit. I got that a little big. Okay, and then these cute little pockets with the acorns. Okay, now, let's put those back in there. And that's gonna go in, it will be page three, in signature three. All right, it's already getting much larger. We haven't even thought about embellishments. <laughs> that always is, that always gets me. Okay, so this time, I did something I don't normally do but it just kind of happened. So I made some extra cardstock that has a fold out, okay? And this, and I love this leaf, whoops, this leaf one, and it folds out. So I think it's gonna go in number one. This is gonna go in number two, and this is another leaf um, paper. Oh, wait a minute, this one's gonna go in number two. This one, I wanted to use, but look how they decorated on the back. I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is put coffee stain paper in here to camouflage, if you wanna call it that, this one. So this is going in the second signature. Um, this will be the first signature, and this will be the last signature. So let's get those in. Uh, so we did uh, the pockets on the second, and so we'll do these pages right before the center of the book. So if I can get them to open without problem, that's signature one. This one's going in signature two, which we'll have to attach those somehow, and it's also gonna go right before the center of the signature. Now this one, we will have to, um, we'll have the pages separated after we've gotten it glued down. Okay, that's signature two. This one will go in signature three right before the center picture. Okay, so it's going to go right here, which I don't know if you can tell. It looks like I cut that a little short, or I folded it a little short, and that's no big deal. Okay, we'll, we'll make it work, even if we have to add on to it. When you start cutting this paper, you can have that number in your head, and if someone walks in the room and says anything, it's all over the boat. I mean, it's over the edge of the boat. Okay, so 
Let me see what else I have here. Um, I have two of the old school sheets and I have a gold vellum. So we're going to put those in. And I think I'm going to put the old school uh, paper right before, before those leaves that we just did in signature one. And then put this gold over this leaf in signature two. I just thought that would be pretty. If you can see that, it's really pretty. I only had one gold one, so I've got to pick up some more. And then this uh, elementary paper will go before this one. Okay. It's amazing how you just have a stack of papers and then all of a sudden they're getting chunky. Okay, now this is the coffee stain paper. And so we're going to start off by, put, you know, trying to put it pretty often. We'll do three just single sheets. We're going to put it in page two. Whoops, sorry, it's running away. Page two. And let's see, let's put it between the tuck, I mean the pocket and the next sheet. So it's going right after the pocket. And then we have this school paper here in front of the leaf, so hmm, we can go back and add one more. Let me see how many I have here. Wait a minute. Okay, now that's the right amount for now. So that ends up being three. Um, so there we go on that one. Signature two will have one right here on the second page. And then one right after the pocket. Once I find the pocket. <laughs> right here. And there will be more coffee stain paper in here. I just have to um, add some hinges to some and make some fold outs because I do like to do at least one fold out in each signature. Okay, this is coffee stain paper here. We'll go second page. And then right after the pocket. I think it kind of breaks up all the color over here if I put some stained paper right before the pocket. So that's the reason I do it like that. Okay, so now we have signature one, two, and three. Let's do some uh, other type of paper. Uh, let me look here. We've got some grid paper. And on the other side, it's lined. So I think I'm going to put that in the second signature. And I love this orange paper and yellow paper, which I don't normally use in just everyday albums because it's so bright. But I thought it would be fun to use in this, this album. Let's see. Let's put it before the pocket. And we'll use the orange first. Okay, that's on signature one. On signature two, we're gonna do white before the orange. Okay, calm that orange down just a little bit. On signature three, we're gonna do it right before the pocket in yellow. Okay, now, now we have some music sheets and Edith Holden. So, how I like to do those is I just kind of break them up. I didn't have enough fall of Edith Holden or I would have done three. Um, so, we're going to do music sheet first. And I think we'll go back and go over... Let's do it 
uh, right before the leaves, I think. <laughs> right before the leaves, yes, that's where I want it. And we're gonna do the same thing with the Edith Holden right before the leaves. Let me find it here. Oh, no, I'm gonna do it before this on this, on the vellum on this one because I like the way that looks. Okay, and that's okay if you change it up. It's not a big deal. The main thing is that you have everything in, you know, a, a kind of an order. At least it, to me, it I like the way that works. Okay, now we're going to do it right. Let me look here again. So, yeah, right here for this card stock. Now, just notice they're getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so I have some small pieces that I want to put in here. And I have two white and a yellow. So, I like to add a lot of journaling space for you guys. And so, that is, this side has a wood grain, which is really cool looking. So let's put it after the first coffee stained paper. And I'll kind of stagger these. Some will be on the top, some will be in the bottom, some will be in the middle. Okay, that's signature one. Signature two, right after the first coffee stain, we're going to do this bright yellow. And it's just white on one side, which is okay. If I can get it to open. I just liked that it had the bright yellow on it. Okay, now, signature three, we will do this white. After the first coffee stain paper. Okay, now, I'm going to start at the beginning again. Now, we're got, I've got three different cutoffs that I wanted to put in here because I'm going to have to, I'll glue that down as a pocket. Um, because I wanted to make sure, you know, we had, um, trying to decide which one to put where because I wanted to do it like this but this paper's in this one and this paper's in this one. So guess what? We're gonna do it like this. Now here's this cute little print. It has the little flags and leaves and so forth. We're putting this one in the first signature. Now where is the question? Let's see. Let's put it in front of the elementary paper. Okay, that's signature one. Signature two, let's see. Gotta find it first here. Now we had put Edith Holden there, so we'll just put it, um, let me think, in front of this paper. It really doesn't matter. You could have every signature different. The only reason I kind of keep them in line is because I want to know um, where everything's going. You know, I like to be able to thumb through it and find, find it easier as I'm working on it. Now, let's see. I've got... A lot of beautiful fall prints and which ones I'm gonna use is hard to tell but look at that with the water this is the top of the tree that's the bottom I'm definitely using that one look at this how beautiful and this is the bottom I want to do a variety of colors so we'll use that too oh and Definitely have to use this. How gorgeous is that? Then it has some poetry on the back. 
So I think what we'll do is we'll use this in the center section since it's different than the others. And then we'll maybe start with the red. Let's start with the red in here. Let's find where we want to put it. Um, I kind of like to put them at the front because they make a statement. So let's put the red tree here at the front. Let me get it open. I think we should do it like that. Nope, I like it like that. Okay. And that's signature one. In signature two, we're going to do the leaves in front of the first coffee uh, stained paper. And on signature three, we're gonna do the yellow in front of the coffee paper. Okay, so we've got three signatures done. We have one more thing to put in it before we move on. Now, this is a falling leaves uh, portrait, and it has the leaves falling, and I just liked it, and on the back it has an Indian summer poem. And I also found children's poetry for October, and it also has uh, autumn information. An autumn day, the wind, chestnuts, so I thought those were cool. So I'll put one in the front. Let's put the children's one in the first signature. Let's go more toward the, right here in front of this. I think it's the second coffee stained paper. We'll put the children's in here first. And I only have two, so I thought I'd throw a ledger page in front of the second coffee stain which would be right here. Okay, on signature three, we'll put the falling leaves right here. You get it kind of memorized after you've done it a little bit where you've got everything. Okay, now everything is lined up and in order. So, the next thing I want to do is, um, I'm going to set that aside, and I want to hinge, let me move those, I want to hinge, um, I want to cut this paper in half and hinge it on to, I meant to have three of these, I don't know why, maybe that's why these others are laying up here. Um, yeah, that's what it is. So, you can see where some of this got really dark, but we're going to cover that up. So, what we'll do is, I don't like it long enough that it will hook into the, when you're trying to do the signature. So, what I'm going to do is, first of all, let me think. I want this to be like this. And, <laughs> let me get my my cutter. Okay. Now, I'm going to trim that off because I just don't like that burnt look. The, the, how even these are is not a big deal. Okay, just so you know. Now we have, have it like this, where this one's longer and this one's shorter, which I like to put it this direction. And then I will hinge the other piece on here, which will fold out and you know, as you do this. So that's how we're gonna do the first one. We'll hinge it. Why is that not the right length? Oh, because I never trimmed this paper. <laughs> never trimmed this paper out. So let's trim off at this end. Um, which it just needs a little bit taken off there. Okay, now we're going to hinge where the paper 
that we're adding will, let's see, now we want it to be like this. We want the hinge right here where it opens to the outside so when you open the paper out, it will work like that. Let me cut a, a piece of paper for that also. We're not gonna do a giant piece, just a small piece because I don't like anything to get hooked into, we'll do like four inches. We'll go ahead and cut two four inch ones. And we can do this, you know, in a couple signatures and then add the extra picture in the other signatures. Okay, now, All right, so we're gonna add our glue, our crazy glue, onto the side of the hinge that is going to lay down on the coffee stain paper. It doesn't take a lot, just do a strip. You just wanna make sure your corners are, are covered. And I just kinda of spread it out. I can't believe the puppy is letting me do the video. <laughs> oh my goodness. I figured she'd be all over me, but it ended up being nap time. Okay. Now you just want to even that up, the hinge up. You don't want it like not even with the edge. And if you look here, you can see that it's even on the other, on the other side of where the hinge is. You want to get any excess glue off so that it doesn't stick to other pages. Okay, now, we've got the hinge on. We're gonna take our four inch paper that we just had a second ago, and we're gonna glue down onto the hinge so we know the glue goes exactly where we want it. Okay. And then, turn this towards you and line the paper, the four inch paper up to the hinge. And I didn't cut it off, but that's all right, we will. I cut everything except these. <laughs> I grabbed them out at the last minute. I remembered I wanted to do it. And I didn't think about trimming them. It's not a big deal. If it's the first mistake I make today, I feel like I'm doing great. <laughs> So I'll just take my scissors and I'll just even it up. And sometimes your hinge might be a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller and that's okay. I'm just gonna trim that right off. Now I'll show you how it will work in your book. We'll put this one in signature one. So let's see, we have coffee stained paper toward the front. And we have it there. Let's see, we have some there. How about we put it right before the center? Okay, now you want the part you just hinged on top. And so you're gonna slide that, that page there. And this way, I could put washi or something here and they'll know that they need to pull this out. And a lot of times I put washi right here just to decorate it up a little bit. And I need to trim it off a little bit more. It's still longer than it should be the other direction. So, let me think for a minute. How about we just do like this? I trimmed off, what happened is I trimmed off that kind of burnt look and when I did it it didn't um, even it out enough and hopefully this will so we'll just take it up and make it even like it was a just a folded page we'll have a little crease here but that's not a big deal it is homemade and let's see if that works I think it's going to <laughs> no guarantees yep I thought that's what I did okay there's the center page, so we're gonna put it right before the center page. 
I am, in the future, I am going to only do tea stain paper because I just feel like the coffee stain is just darker than I want. Okay, there's signature one. Now, we're going to take signature two and we're gonna put this multicolored picture in it in that same place right before the center of the book once I find it. <laughs> once I find it, there it is. We're gonna put it right here. Because I had this extra page and we don't want it to go to waste. Okay, I, that's my way of trying to keep everything kind of center, you know. Um, all right, so we're gonna trim this one down before we actually put it together this time so there's no confusion. So it's eight inches tall, five inches wide. And so we want to cut it like that. And then the one we're adding is the four inch, but we also want to cut it at eight inches tall. That's because that's why it was hanging over earlier. Okay, so, um, let me see here. This one will go in front of the signature two that we, on signature three, in front of the center page. Now we're gonna attach it the very same way by putting glue on this side Okay, we're almost done with our video. We just wanna put the signatures together. Then I, what I will do is I will ink everything. And after that, I will um, ink all the tucks and so forth. Now I'm just gonna line it up. Somebody just woke up, so hopefully she doesn't make a showing. If she does, she looks pretty rough. I haven't even brushed her hair today, guys. Okay, nope, she fell back to sleep. <laughs> I guess that's what puppies do, huh? Okay, now we're gonna add this on top of the hinge, which you wanna make sure it's as straight as possible. And here she comes, she's stretching. Okay, I think the grass in, the, in our yard has been bothering her a little bit, but I take her to the vet next week, and so I need to find out if she's too young for grass allergies. She's so short that she, um, she just drags in the grass, you know. Okay, now, fold, turn this around, line it up with your paper, if your hinge is a little off, don't line it up with the hinge. Line it up with this paper because you want it to be the same length as your paper as I say that. And if it doesn't end up that way, there we go. You can trim off any excess, which is not, you know, sometimes they're not perfectly aligned anyway. Like, see, this one's not either. So I just trim it. This hinge is a little long. Okay, make sure you get all the glue off before you put it in your book. Oops, see like that stuck. Because you won't be able to open it later if you don't. Okay, so this goes in signature three. So here is signature three. We're going to put it right before the center of the book, which will be right here. And remember, we're going to cover this up. After I get everything inked, I will do that. Let's see. I think I want to do it like this, how I did the last one. Okay. Now, 
That's signature three. So we have all three of our signatures done. I'm going to move the cutter. So I will get them all inked and get them all sewn. And I'll, in the meantime, we'll be working on some of um, the embellishments. You know, I did a lot when I was doing the other page. But I will try and have um, more embellishments for you. Now... I'm going to turn the camera and let you see Sadie Rose. She is um, two and a half pounds and has never had a haircut. So her hair is about two and a half inches long. So she looks way bigger than she is. She's very tiny. She won't get any bigger than five. But realize that I haven't combed her today or washed her little face or anything. So I'm going to see if the camera will turn that way. Here we go. Whoops, we're coming out. I want you guys to meet my Sadie Rose. Now this little bed she's in is very tiny. So it's hard to say. Sadie, can you say hi? She's got a little rose, pink rose on the side of her, her ear there. See the little rose? She's real short and very lovable and not potty trained yet. <laughs> We're working on it. She will fetch her toys. She's only three months old. And I know she looks older than she is, but she is a full bred, uh, men smaller than a toy. You know, they say teacup, but to me it's a teacup if it's in a teacup. <laughs> she, she could have fit in a teacup when she was born, but um, Anyway, she is cutting teeth, as you can see, and not interested in anything I have to say. But, anyway, there's a yawn. Sadie, Sadie, I want to show you this. She has one little white paw. See that? All the rest of them are jet black. And then she has just a tiny bit of white hair on her chest. I mean, like a, just a strip. And there's the belly. She likes her belly rubbed. And you can tell by my hand how tiny she is because my hand covers her hole underneath like she's got a foot here and a foot here. <laughs> she is a mess, but we love her already. It's only been... A week today that we've had her and she's we're already in love with her so I wanted you to see Sadie because I'm taking her to get this hair chopped off sometime next week and see there's the white it's funny how she just has that one little white paw see it <laughs> the rest of them are all black there's your belly there's Sadie's belly Sadie can you say hello come here see me come here Come here, Sadie. I might be able to get her to... She will sleep hanging out of this little bed when she takes... Now, she wants to bite on me. There she, there she is. Say hi, Sadie. Can you say hi? Let's go in a little bit. Her eyes are so black that it's hard to really see her face. But her little face is so cute. She is... A, I don't know if I told you. She is a poodle. Sadie... Will you give me my finger back? Come here, Sadie. Good girl. Good girl. Where are you going? Where are you going? This is how she sleeps sometimes when I'm working. She'll just be falling out of her little bed. Okay, guys. I just wanted to introduce you because I've had several people say they wanted to meet Sadie. And so this is my little girl that keeps me company now whenever I'm by myself. Um, and she's all over the place, as you can tell. All right, guys, I will um, get back and show you some different things between now and the time this book is finished. My other book is finished, and it's in the Etsy shop. And um, it turned out really pretty. So I was pleased with it. We will let you go. Say bye, Sadie. Can you say bye? No, I can't. I'm a dog. 
No, I can't. I'm a dog, so let's just wave. Bye. We'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to scribe, subscribe. And all the new subbies out there, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.